Hey friends, I'm on a road trip today and I am going to just share with you a couple of my favorite makeup products to help with the whole road trip situation. So first of all, I've got a microfiber cloth which I put in my lap and it's also great to wipe my little hands on if I'm doing my, you know, I'm always wait till I do my makeup in the car. So this is the number one product that I recommend. This is CeraVe, and this is a 30 uh, face, uh, 30 SPF face tint, sheer face tint, and I love it. And I already have it on right now. It's very, very moisturizing. Very, very, very moisturizing. And so this is basically your lip or your face moisturizer and your sunscreen, and that goes on. And then I put that down under my neck. Now I did get some on my shirt today, which I would not recommend. It does have titanium dioxide, so it doesn't have all the really nasty stuff that that you know normally this stuff has in it. Um, and it doesn't have that horrible smell because I'm super sensitive. So this is, I think these are about $13 at, um, you can get a Ulta for 1.7 ounces, which also is a great travel size. So that is my first layer when I'm in the car in the morning. That's what I do while we drive. Okay. So then I've got my little e.l.f. Ulta Precise Brow Pencil. This is one of those things, super inexpensive, but let me tell you, this one is one of the only fine pointed things that you can find. And again, it's like a whopping $3, but I'll show you. I already, I already used this too, cause, but I love it because you can just easily add that peak on even while driving the car. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna put anything really sharp or pointy near my eyes while I'm driving the car. While we're moving, I'll wait till we get to, you know, we're parked. But um, this is great because it just has this, you know, not everybody needs big bushy brows, you know? So this is this is one of those things I, you know, these two are super big go-to products. Oh, we're going over the water right now. I love the water. We're in Florida. We're in Florida. We're going, going north today, and we get to go over all these beautiful bodies of water. <sighs> I love water. I love it. It's great. Okay, so um, let me. I'm also going to tell you about the next layer that I like to use on top of my um, sunscreen, which is really light. And this is a lot more coverage, but it has these amazing anti-aging skincare. It's called CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless. It has hyaluronic complex with vitamin C um, and it's so thin. And the thing of it is, as you get older, you get little wrinkles and lines. You don't want anything heavy like I used to wear when I was young. You know, like pancake makeup. Um, so this is super, super light. You just use just a tiny bit and I'll show you how strong it is. Um, well, let's see. I'm going to show you in the camera which what we would show the best. Show you how much coverage you get. And um, it just takes such a little bit. So for all of us ladies, midlife ladies, this is a little bit goes a long way. It's just really quite fantastic. You can see, you can see how much coverage I got because I have very dark under eye circles and this goes a long way. Super cheap too. Okay, now I'm going to show you, oh, this is one of my favorites. This is a Neutrogena Revitalizing Lip Balm at Spiff 20. Oh, I love the way this stuff smells and tastes. And it's real natural looking. See, that's a great color for, for white people. I don't know how that would do on darker skin tones, but I love it. And also, right in the car, I gotta have that sunscreen. And what's great is you just don't have to have all these products, you guys. You can just 
doop, doop, because it's the perfect color. This, I, I call it the co color of a, a little baby's lips, a little white baby's lips. Um, you know, just give yourself that kind of natural, little natural pop of color after you put on your, your base. So kind of, you know, you, when you put on your base, you're taking away color. Now you're kind of adding it back. And see, that just looks so natural. It just gives me as a very, very light-skinned person. It gives me just that nice pop of color. Okay. And thanks to Nate for driving in. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go talk about the... Okay, this is another product I've tried. I think it works pretty good. It is a translucent matte. It's basically an eye base. It's called the Waterproof Primer. And I cannot remember the name of this company, but it's one of the natural companies. So I think, and, and what I do is, this is what I use as my eye primer. And it's supposed to have some anti-aging stuff in it, benefits in it. have to let it set up and dry for a minute and then when I put my my uh, eyeshadow over it but I love I really think that we need to get as many treatment products as we can so this this does have some you know like eye moisturizing kind of stuff um, and so the main thing is you want to make sure you don't put anything too thick on your eye primer. We need to go north, Savannah, you said that, right? Okay. So, all right. Now, I'm, I am honestly trying to get away from shadows because I just don't like the way they end up falling all over your face all the time. I don't think they're the best. I would much rather use some type of a liquid thing, but here's the thing. A lot of the liquids have shiny stuff in them, and the more that you you get a little older, you get into your 50s, you don't want all that shiny stuff highlighting wrinkles. So you want to go more matte. So I did find a great e.l.f. matte um, eyeshadow, and it's just this. I bought two of them, and I found them because they don't have a bunch of mica and glitter in them. They're just very great solid colors and I have kind of some green in my eyes and this is just so pretty with, with greens. This is really, really great. So, going around the corner. So this little angled brush, fantastic. I have a little travel brush set. So this is going to go in the corner and I'm just going to use a really light, light one here start out with. There we go. Then I'm going to put it right in the crease. See how that just gives me so much color, you guys? I tell people, if you have gray, going gray, you have to you have to add color back into your face. You can't just, oh, I'm going gray and not change your makeup. You have to add color back in. So you always have to make sure. I mean, just look at the difference. You have to add color back in. When I that is actually not that. So that's this one right here. This is warmer too, but I, I like this one for some reason. Okay, here we go again. And for those of you who are now following me on YouTube, thank you. I'd love to get my subscription up, so I'll post fun videos from our travels, where we go, uh, happiness, self-care, beauty, aliveness. Now the other thing that I like to do is I've noticed I'd like to keep my lid white or with no powder on it because it just, I don't know, just I like the, the look of it. So that's it, just one color, isn't that cool? Now I do have on black today so I am and I can put on a little bit more color than usual, but you know, even even that is is better, right? And I just I really don't think that we need that much makeup. I just don't think that we do. <laughs> 